last night we reported on the controversial teachings of Democratic candidate Barack Obama's Chicago-based church. A guest on our program likened Trinity Unity uh, Church of Christ to a separatist movement drawing comparisons to Branch Davidians. Joining us now for a response to these claims from Trinity United is the Reverend Dr. Jeremiah Wright. Uh, Reverend, welcome to the program. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Okay, this is the same church. You do have the website, right, where it says commitment to the black community? Commitment the to black the black... Value, Go ahead. The black value system, which was developed by the congregation, by laypersons of the congregation 26 years ago. Right. Very similar to the gospel and solar tsunami developed by laypersons in Nicaragua during the whole liberation theology movement 26, 28, 30 right, but let years me, let ago. Me, yes. but, but we're not dealing with... This is on the website today. But let me, let me just inform our audience, and I want you to respond if you can. It says commitment to God. By the way, I'm with you, and I hope you'll pray for me, Reverend. Um, commitment to the black community. Commitment to the black family, adherence to the black work ethic. Um, it goes on, pledge, you know, acquired skills available to the black community, strengthening and supporting black institutions, pledging allegiance to all black leadership who have embraced the black value system, personal commitment to the embracement of the black value system. Now, Reverend, if every time we said black, if it was a church and those words were white, wouldn't we call that church racist? No, we would call it Christianity. We've been saying that since there was a white Christianity. We've been saying that ever since white Christians took part in the slave trade. We've been saying that ever since they had churches and slave castles. We, have, we don't have to say the word white. We just have to live in white America, the United States of white America. That's not the issue. You're missing the issue. As I was trying to say to you, liberation theology, and I thought Eric Rush uh, had studied at a theological seminary that was conservative. Come to find out, he doesn't know anything more about theology than I know about brain surgery so well, for Reverend, him to speak, uh, here's my point no to let you. me finish no here's my point to you I'm if you're not going if you're not going to talk about theology in context if you're not going to talk about liberation theology that came out of the 60s systematized black liberation theology that started with Jim Cohn in 1968 Reverend and the writings of Cohn and the writings of Dwight Hopkins and the writings of womanist theologians and Asian theologians and Hispanic theologians. Reverend, I gotta get talk, this. In. Then you, then you can't talk wanna, about the black values. I, 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 no, but you, I'm you gonna tell you this. Have, Listen, I'm do a. Do you know Reverend, liberation theology, sir? Reverend, do you know liberation theology? I actually studied. You know I studied theology. I went to a seminary I didn't ask you, and I studied I, I Latin. Say, no, I can go. I said, do you know uh, li sir, black liberation? I'm, theology? I'm very aware of what you're calling black liberation. But let me get my question out. No, I didn't ask you what I'm calling. I said, do you know black theology? Reverend, I'm gonna give you a chance to answer your question. How many of Cohn's books have you Reverend, how many Reverend, Cones books have Reverend, you read? Reverend, I'm going to ask you, sir, I'm going to ask you the how question. Many, you, <laughs> how many books of Cones have I'm you gonna read? I'm going to ask you this question. How many Whether books of Dwight when, Hopkins have you you're read? You're very angry and defensive. I'm just trying to ask a question here. You're, I'm you, I'm Barack know, Obama I'm goes you to, sir, you Barack answered, Obama goes to your you church. You haven't answered my question. And you, it seems to be, when you say, the black community, black Key family, word, black seems. work ethic, Key black word, community. It seems, it seems to an arrogant, ignorant person. I'm asking you. Have you sir? answered me? How many books sir, of Dwight I'm going to say this, whether you like it or not, I'm going to get my words in. And I'm going to tell you right now, like, I'm going to tell you, liking. I, I think as a Christian, question. sir, have I think as a read? Christian, you should not separate by race in this day and age. And that's why a lot of people are going to look at that and say, we're all, we're all supposed to be united right, Dr. under Christ, uh, aren't we? Dr. Wright, it's Alan Combs. First of all, Those I think Barack Obama put it correctly to the Chicago Tribune when he said that he'd be puzzled that the conservatives would object or quibble with the bulk of a document, which is your church's document, that espouses profoundly conservative values of self-reliance and self-help. That's what you're talking about on your website. Self-reliance exactly. and self-help for the community that your church serves. I don't see what the problem should be with that. That comes out of the perspective of liberation theology and black liberation theology. And I keep asking him, how many of books of Cones has he read? How many books of Dwight Hopkins? How many liberation theologians does he know? But I want to ask because you about your church so from, the public understands. Is, I want the public to understand is, where your church is coming from because you're being accused of being a black separatist church and thus Obama is being accused by default of being a black separatist. Can you straighten that out for us, please? Okay. The African-centered point of view does not assume superiority, nor does it assume separatism. It assumes Africans speaking for themselves as subjects in history, not objects in history. It comes from the principles of Kawaida, the second principle being Kuji Chagalia, which is self-determination, us naming ourselves and not saying we are superior to anybody. We have no hierarchical arrangement. When you say an African-centered way of thinking, African-centered philosophy, African-centered theology, you're talking about one center. We're talking about something that's different, and different does not mean deficient. Aren't there black churches? Nor, nor, 
nor does it mean superior or inferior. The whole notion of hierarchical, one superior, we let's be separate because we're better, that's nothing, has absolutely nothing to do with Are there black churches all over America that say pretty much what your church says? They serve the African American community, they say very similar things to what you say on your website. Yes, they do. And your church yes, is being singled out simply because <laughs> it has congregants like Barack Obama, but also has people from all walks of life, welfare recipients, Oprah Winfrey, correct. as I understand it, and a whole bunch of people. Correct, that's correct. We've been singled out ever since the uh, Audacity of the Hope speech, ever since the Democratic Convention, ever since the book Audacity of Hope, ever since right. the journalists found out that Barack was one of our members. Yes, we've been singled Reverend, out unfairly I, I, I and singled run. out. We're, we're on a hard break, but may I suggest that we talk about the American community instead of black, the American Let me suggest that you do black. some reading before would, you try to talk bring to me us about together Rob Field. In the I'm not trying to talk King. to you about... No, 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 no. Martin Luther King was from the black church. He was not from the white church. He was not from Pat Robeson, Jerry he Falwell, said, the Christian conservatives. I and judge people I by the content you, of their character. I, yes, that's, yeah. and, and he gotta, also said run. that war is wrong. He also said that the president lied to take us to Vietnam. Thank you for being with us. And when we come back, we'll the results of the Spartanburg South Carolina Republican